So here I am back in uh, Little Big Planet, and I'm just going to show you what it would be like to start from scratch. Because some people say, like, okay, it's not going to be a bit daunting, and there's certainly no requirement to start from scratch. Like, you can you can begin from one of your friends' levels, and even we allow you to copy many of the levels that we provide with the game as a kind of starting point. But here today, I'm just going to show you some of the creative features. Now, here I am with my sack boy uh, in an empty level, and I'm not going to go into all the details. I'm just going to show you a couple of new things, basically. So. We've talked about previously about um, how you can place down objects incredibly easily, and they all have physical materials that behave as you'd expect. So here I have some sponge, I just choose a square shape. Um, and one of the things we have is a grid mode, which allows like precision engineering, if you like. So that's kind of a, a cool new feature, which I can make these like, little, uh, little uh, steps here. Also, one of the things you can do is uh, danger. We, I, you saw the uh, fiery blocks that you, you in the playthrough before. Well, that's really easy to add to your level. So let's say that I just uh, wanted to create a um, what looks like a pretty normal uh, sack of cloth. Maybe I'll change its shape a little bit. Maybe I'll make a one that covers everything. Okay. Well, so far, so, so nothing new. But what gets really exciting is I can use these uh, so-called tools to change how those objects behave. So with one click, I can go right ahead and electrify something. Or I can make something be on fire. My personal favorite, ice. Now, all of these allow players to create different kinds of gameplay in their level. So when I'm in edit mode, I'm, I'm like invincible, so I can't die. But, um, so that, that'll be fun. And OK, now my next thing is, let's make this level competitive. That is the easiest thing to do in the world. All I need to do, bring up a gameplay kit. And here I have a particular gameplay kit, which is um, a race kit. So I simply place down a start flag, find, a, find room to fit it in. And then I place down a finish flag on the other side of the dangerous stuff. Do I want scores in my game and world rankings all provided online? No problem, I place down a scoreboard and we're done. So now I can go ahead and play test this. And I should say also that if I was playing with multiple people here, they could be testing this right while I'm playing it online. You could have like other people in here jumping around and checking that it was actually fun to play. But I'm going to take a risk and um, I go to my level and say play. So here we are playing in my level. We've got some little uh, jump off point here. I'll show you what happens if I... Oh dear. So I don't want to touch that, right? So like, I've learned my lesson. I shall go and um, respawn. Try again. Ah, oh, I it, didn't make it over the fire. I'll try one more time. And then uh, I think I think I uh, see if maybe going up this way allows me to get a bit of a. No, it's too far. Okay, let's see. Yes. Now, ice is my favourite of all. You touch it for too long, you get like frozen up, and you can use the six axis to just break free. And that's like one of my favourite like little mechanisms. Because also while you're um, while you're frozen. You can um, you, you behave differently. You're a block of ice, right? So you can slide down places where you couldn't previously have gone. And um, obviously, I'll let your imagination run wild because I haven't got time to show you uh, everything. Let me just show you what happens when I complete the level, if I have the skills. And there we go. So I've just made a level. It's got it's got reward. It's got challenge. It's got scoring. And it took me about two minutes while I was talking to you live. And that's how powerful the create is on Little Big Planet. Anything you see, as I say, anything you see, any level you play when you buy the game and there's a bunch of levels, you can make it and you can beat us on how good it is. And that's what I'm really looking forward to, like what happens when people get this in their hands, they're just going to make all kinds of different things.